Please turn right. You will then arrive at your destination. Please turn right. You will then arrive at your destination. Hello and welcome to the show. This is Webmaster Paul for Freshwater Diver 1. Please turn right, you will then arrive at your destination. So, we're all wondering who owns Ennerdale? <laughs> uh, well, it's a bit complicated guys, because you have got the farmers there, so they own the land. Um, the Forestry Commission own the forestry land, which is quite significant uh, around Ennerdale. But the lake itself, um, the documents state that uh, it's owned by United Utilities, who ab abstract water to serve the customers in the Whitehaven area, etc. However, in 2013, the Environment Agency informed United Utilities that the abstraction license was being revoked to prevent, uh, to protect the environment of Ennerdale and the River Inn. I think that's a, how you pronounce that, E-H-E-N, Ian, or it might be Hen. So who owns it? We really, I'm really not sure. It's not clear to me, um, but there you go. Also, when you're looking online, it would seem that the National Trust want to have a, a hand in things here. But certainly the car parks at Bleach Green, which we're at at the minute, and Bonus Knot, they're not um, operated or owned by the National Trust. I believe it is the Forestry Commission that own those. For divers, don't pull into this car park just yet. This is the end car park which gets you nearest to the lake but follow the road around and that will take you down onto the shoreline. Drop the gear off, drive and shore cover, drive back the cars to the car park. I don't wish to upset anyone here, but it says welcome to our site, United Utilities. More like United Fake News, who like to take people's water access away. First of all, no swimming. Well, that does take place. Uh, no fires or barbecues. Thank you everyone, there are no fires or barbecues in evidence here. No camping, yes there's plenty of camping going on. Toilets will remain closed. What toilets? Please take your rubbish home. That's a good message. Please take your rubbish home everyone. This is Forestry Commission land, not United Utilities. United Utilities owns the lake, not the land. As far as I understand. Have a sell all that. As I said earlier, it's complicated. For divers, don't pull into this car park just yet. This is the end car park which gets you nearest to the lake. But follow the road around and that will take you down onto the shoreline. Drop the gear off and shore cover drive back the cars to the car park. We're actually going to show you the path from that car park onto the road and along the water's edge.
tree, everything on the left is forest, everything on the right is farm. Now, I might be mistaken here, but that, I think that's farmland, but it could be forestry. Certainly, it's certainly forestry in the mountain slope there. Coming across a small bridge. Sparrows. Okay folks, so this is a very shallow area, five meters or less. <laughs> uh, danger deep water, not for divers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can just about walk across there. One of the 
advantages about being down here compared to at the top end where the River Lisa comes in. Where that river comes in, you'll see that later on, but that is two degrees cooler up that end. Down here, if you're looking for warm water, <laughs> just by two degrees, so instead of five, you're talking about seven. Um, a little bit warmer down this end. Uh, shallow all the same though, so you may see some fish, pick up some fish and tackle. But apart from that, this is United Utilities property. Uh, best to get advice from them, give them your dive plan, where you're going to be, etc. And your safety precautions for the reservoir. Okay, thank you guys. One of the things I've forgotten to mention here is visibility in this lake. You've actually got 20 plus meters. Now, if it's raining, it's the usual story. You'll lose about three or four, maybe five meters at this end of the lake. Rivalisa, different situation there. I'll explain that at the, at the Rivalisa site. In the meantime, here's a little map of Ennerdale. And we're just showing you the route in, using the car, down to the car park. Instead of going straight into the car park, just carry on on that piece of road you're on and it'll take you down here to the lakeside. Drop the gear off and back again to the car park. You can walk through the woods, which is a, a shortcut woods forestry commission property. So through the woods and back to the lake. I'm using the blue marker. I'm just drawing out the dive area. It's shallow at five meters. So you've got a lot of time down under. I can see there's a bit of forestry going on up there guys. Wow, hope they don't slide down from there. A bit precarious. I don't know if I can catch this out, catch this, but yeah, there's your finished product. Felled the trees, stripped them, cleaned them. And there you go, ready to go to market. And so the time is yeah, half ten and it's chocker now. How are you going to get there then? This is Webmaster Paul from Freshwater Diver One on YouTube. Thank you for your likes, subscribes, and shares. Those are very much appreciated. You're welcome to leave your comments below. We love reading them. Thank you. We'll be uploading videos every Friday. See you next Friday.